What? The power went out. Ugh. Looks like it's doing that apocalypse thing again. There must be something in my inventory that I can use to drill holes without electricity. Yeah, I think this'll work. Hey guys, today we're checking out this Stanley Handyman egg beater style drill. They call it the egg beater because, well, it looks like an egg beater. It works the same way too. It has a big gear with a handle on it that when you rotate it, it turns a smaller gear, which rotates the chuck. It has a three-jaw keyless chuck. In the instructions, they say to tighten the chuck by hand, then hold it and turn the handle to tighten it fully. Let's try drilling some holes with this and see how it does. Yeah, it's working. It binds up a little bit every once in a while. I don't know if that's the bit or if I maybe need to put some oil on the gears. Here's the hole we made. Looks fine. These were designed mostly for smaller pilot holes. You're not going to be hogging out a one inch hole with this. This particular model was made from 1961 to at least 1973. The original model appeared to have some sort of a cap on the handle, which mine doesn't have. Looks like it cost $3.19 back then. In the 1973 ad, you can see they removed the cap from the handle, so mine must be a later version. They had multiple variations of these. The Handyman series that I have was the lower end version, so it only has one speed and there are no bearings or anything in it. Here you can barely make out the Handyman logo. This also has the original price sticker on it. I can't make out the price, but it looks like this was sold at Goldblatt's. Goldblatt's was a department store in Chicago. They're not in business anymore. I've been enjoying trying out all the old-timey woodworking tools. I don't know how much I like this one, though. I'm warming up to the idea of using a push drill. I've used that a few times in projects to make a quick pilot hole. I don't think I'll be using this egg beater one too much, though. It's hard to keep it straight while drilling the hole. I might just need some more practice, but for now, I'm just going to hang this one up on the wall. I'll keep an eye out at the flea market for a nicer one. Maybe if I can find one that's dual speed, has bearings and a side handle, I'll like it better. Thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to check out the other videos on my channel. See you later. Bye.